friends, good morning. Welcome to Sunday School on October 25th, 2020. So, Miss Jenna, what's that thing you're working on there? Oh, well, today is our last week to study Esther. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be a great time to teach our friends about the Jew Jewish holiday of Purim. Have you heard of Purim? I have heard of Purim. You may not have heard of that word before, but... Well, we'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. So, I was making these noisemakers. Oh, fun. To be able to use in class today. So, if you have any sort of noisemaker at home, maybe you or a parent or somebody mm -hmm. can grab it for you and you'll have a little bit more fun during class yeah, today. Yeah, that's a great idea. Anything. Even if it's just two spoons and you clap them like that. Yeah, anything would work, right? Yeah. Anything that makes noise, I'm sure you guys have something. So, the holiday called Purim, it's a Jewish holiday, yes. and the Jews call it like the most fun holiday of the year. Well, that totally makes sense mm -hmm. because they get to dress up, they get to give gifts, they get to eat all sorts of yummy treats. Mm -hmm. so. Treats, treats. Did you say treats? Did somebody say treats? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Here, actually, this is the main treat that the Jews serve during Purim. And what you see, it's a cookie, and it's called Hamantaschen. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's supposed to represent Haman's hat. And you know how these kind of hats have three sides? Mm -hmm. And it, so during Purim, uh, they, they remember the story and what happens to Haman. And we're going to find out today that in the story today, Haman gets eaten up. Ooh. And so that's why they eat the Haman Toshin cookies. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to stop talking about mean old Haman. Maybe we should just sing the song. We should sing the song. Mean old yes. Haman. Let's sing it. All right. All right. Old Haman was a mean, evil man. A mean, evil man was he. He was meaner than an angry old flea. As mean as he could be. Good job. You even got that cutoff right on that, Zeke. No, I've been practicing. You did perfect. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, during the celebration of Purim, the Jewish people would read the entire Magali. No, I didn't say that right. No, it's called Megillah. Megillah. See, I even had that spelt out. I still didn't say it. Megillah. 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 Mm -hmm. That is what the Jews call the story of Esther. That's right. And as they read, they read the whole story of Esther. And as they read it, every time they say the word Haman, mm -hmm. do you know what they do? What? All the people, they shake their noise noisemaker. You got the two in? Yeah. And they say, boo. Ooh, I think it would be really fun if we done that today. So what do you guys think? Should we try it? Yeah, let's think do we should it. Try it. So I'll, I'll start, okay? okay. So in um, today, when we say Haman, boo. See, you want to try it? All right, can, can I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do it. Yeah. All right, Haman. <laughs> well, Zeke, can you remind us about Haman? Sure. Haman Boo. wanted to kill all the Jews because they refused to bow to him. That's correct. So King Xerxes, he had made a law that all the people should bow to Haman. Boo. But when uh, when they saw him, Mordecai said, no, I will not bow. That's very true. And you guys remember who Mordecai was, right? Mm -hmm. He was Esther's cousin. Mm -hmm. So uh, she he raised her. But Zeke, can you remind everybody about how Esther became the queen? Sure. Esther and all the women of the kingdom had to be in a contest to see which one the king liked best. Mm -hmm. And that's how he chose the queen. But that's not how God wants us to choose who we marry. You know, I, I can tell Zeke's been listening. I hope you guys have been too. I'm mm -hmm. sure you have. Yeah. You know, we only make important decisions by praying to God, not like King Xerxes no, did here. No. So, here's an interesting fact about the book of Esther. You may have probably never heard this before, but did you know that God is not mentioned a single time in the whole book of Esther? Are you serious? The whole Bible is about God. That's right. Then how is he not mentioned in one of the books? 
-hmm. Well, I mean, it is a crazy fact about mm -hmm. Esther. I, I give you that. But even though God is not mentioned by name in the book of Esther, he's doing a lot of things in that entire book. Yes, he is. The first thing is, he takes an ordinary girl named Esther and makes her a queen. He does. Mm -hmm. And today God is going to protect the Jews from all the mean and evil Haman. Boo! I think I need to go get ready to play the part of Haman. Boo! This is fun. I love saying Haman. Haman. Okay, Z. That's enough, bud. Maybe you should go get ready for the play now. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll go. Okay. So I can play Haman. <laughs> so last week, when when everything ended, mm -hmm. there was an interesting series of events. Remember? Mm -hmm. Remember it was like being on up and down rides? Right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's review those things. So the first one, do you remember what happens first that was kind of crazy? Mm, I do. The queen goes to the king. Mm -hmm. And you know, we didn't know it was if, if he was gonna let her live or not. Right. So that was the first thing because she could have been killed since she wasn't invited. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Well, the second thing, you know, we thought Esther was going to ask King Xerxes pretty much immediately, mm -hmm. to save her people, the Jews. That's right. But instead, she asked him and Haman <laughs> to dinner. So instead of asking them, she asked them to dinner. We don't really know why she did that. The mm -hmm. Bible doesn't tell us why she did that. Some people think maybe she got scared, mm -hmm. which I can understand that. It was scary. Yeah. And mm -hmm. maybe she just made something up and what came out was saying, let's go to dinner. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Other people think that it was the original plan, that that's what she really had in her mind, you know, and on mm -hmm. her heart to do. But the truth is, we really won't know until we get to heaven and we can ask her. Yeah. Ask her and ourselves. We'll just go ask her. There we go. Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> but now the third interesting thing happened at dinner. It did. Because they were at dinner and the king says, okay, what do you want to know, Queen Esther? And what does she do? She says... I want you to come back to dinner tomorrow night. You and Haman Boo. should come back and have dinner with me. Mm -hmm. So that was a crazy thing. Well, we don't know why she did that for the second time either. Mm -hmm. We just know that she did. But, you know, here's another interesting thing. God chose that particular night to remind King Xerxes that he needed to find a way to honor Mordecai, the Jew. That's right. And our next crazy event was uh, the same night. Mm -hmm. So while the king was trying to find a way to honor Mordecai, old Haman, <laughs> he was devising a plan, an evil plan, to kill Mordecai. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to remember that the story of Esther, it's a pretty scary story. Yes. The whole story is. Mm -hmm. Because... For the Jewish people, you know, Haman had devised this plan. That's right, remember? But, wait a minute, I said Haman. Boo. Oh, my God! <laughs> hey, hey, Haman Boo. had devised this plan to kill all the Jews on the 13th day of the 12th month. That's right. So, you know, this is why the Jewish people, they celebrate Purim mm -hmm. every year and the story it gives them courage and even though we're not Jewish we are God's chosen people so it should give us courage also we don't have to be afraid that's very true mm -hmm. you know I have an idea since Esther has a scary scene today why don't we call her up here and see if she'll sing the song with us it's a great idea so Queen Esther can you come up here hi Queen hello Good morning, everyone. I would love to sing that song with you. I know that today is the day that I must tell the king the truth. I need to be reminded not to be afraid. Yeah, so let's let's get everybody. If we all sing along, it might give her courage. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's sing. Ready? God has not given us a spirit of fear. There's power deep within, power deep within. We have his word, brothers, sisters, let's hear. There's wonderful power deep within. 
There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Thank you for singing with me. Can we say that in every verse, too? I think it would really help me to have that in my mind also. Of course. Good yeah. idea. So if you guys remember, it's in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. And it mm -hmm. says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So power, love, love, and a sound mind. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like those hand motions. Yeah. All right. Ready? Can we do it together? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah. So, you know, that's a really good verse for you to remember, for all of us to remember, but you especially, Queen. Because, you know, God chose you to be the queen, mm -hmm. and you really are the only one that can convince the king to save the Jewish people. That's right. So, you know what? You don't have to be afraid. Just trust God. That's what I'm trying to do, but I cannot stand the thought of having one more meal with that mean and evil Haman. <laughs> well, I don't blame you at all, queen, but you can do it. Just you got to be brave. Yeah, be brave. Okay, well, I better go now and get ready. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, while you go, let's remind everybody else of what, what's going to happen. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've left off with the sixth event, the major event that happened mm -hmm. in last week's lesson. You know, after the king and Haman... <laughs> Um, had that sleepless night, the next morning, the king told Haman to have a special parade for Mordecai. Haman, he had to go through the streets, leading Mordecai around on a horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so funny. It was funny. You know, we should play the clip of that from last week. Oh, yeah. We should play that now. Okay, let's, let's do watch it. it. All hail the great Mordecai. All hail the dude on the horse. <coughs> All hail the great Mordecai. Can you imagine how angry Haman <laughs> must have been when he had to parade Mordecai around the entire town? You know, that just shows you God must have a sense of humor. Oh, absolutely. You know? Well, it makes sense because God didn't create laughter. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Well, you know, I'm kind of dying to see how the story ends. Yes. We're, we've gotten so far into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should look how it ends. Um, you know, in this scene that we're going to see here in just a few minutes, we're going to find the king and Haman. <laughs> They're with Esther at the second dinner party that she's thrown for them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's All right. watch. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a lovely meal, Esther. Thank you. I hope you and Haman enjoyed it. It was wonderful. Now, Esther, I know that there's something you want. You can ask me for anything even up to half of the kingdom, and I'd give it to you. If I have found favor in your sight, O king, please save my life and the life of my people, for we have been sold to be destroyed. What? Who is he? Where is he that's decided in his heart to do such a thing? The enemy who has done this thing is... Haman. What? What? What have you done, Haman? You've tricked me. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. I have not tried to hurt you or the queen. No, 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 no. You made the law to have all the Jews killed because you hate Mordecai. 
Mordecai is the man who raised me. He is my cousin. I am a Jew. Uh, 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 I did not know. You have to believe me. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. No, Haman, what you have done is inexcusable. There will be no mercy shown to you. Guards, come and take him away. But, 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 wait, 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 hold on, hold on, keep wait a second, hold it! Wow. If we were at a prom party right now, mm -hmm. do you know what happened? We would be... Oh, yeah, we'd be we, cheering. We'd be cheering because he took him away. We'd we'll be booing, daring it because he's out there, right? That's right. We would be cheering because they took him away. Yeah, he's finally gone. That mean and evil Haman. They eat him up. That's yeah. why you have those cookies. That is a perfect story. Mm -hmm. You know, another funny part of the story, though, is that Haman, he was killed on the same gallows that he built to try and kill Mordecai. Yes, that is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So, you know that song that we've been singing about me and Evil Haman? Yeah. You know it's got more verses? Mm -hmm. We've just never taught them to you before. Oh. So, maybe we should do all the verses now. It's a long song. It though. is a long yeah. song. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to get my paper okay. uh, to sing along to make sure I get them right. Okay? So, let's start from the beginning. Okay. Y'all know the first verse. We then you'll learn the other verses. You ready? Here we go. Old Haman was a mean, evil man, a mean, evil man was he. He was meaner than an angry old flea, as mean as he could be. When Mordecai would not bow to him, he had to make his plea. He went to the king and made him agree to sign an evil decree. But Queen Esther was a very good queen, a very good queen was she. Without delay, she began to pray, and she sent to God her plea. She went to the king and bowed real low, even though she wanted to flee. She got the king to change his decree. The Jewish people were free. And then the king gave a new decree. Haman was no more to be. I like that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, wait just a minute here. You know, what about this royal decree that on the 13th day of the 12th month, the Jews were to be killed? What happened to it? So, let's get Mordecai. Let's have him come up and tell us the end of the story. Okay. Hey, good. Mordecai. Hey. Hi. Hey. Well, after Haman. You know, wait a minute. I have an idea. Let's just not say his name anymore. We just call him the evil man, yeah, the I'm mean gonna, man, but we don't need to say that. I'm going to take him away. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. After that bad guy was gone, King Xerxes made, his, made me his right-hand man. Wait. So you got the bad guy's job? Yeah, that's right. Then Esther and I wrote a new law that was called the Second Letter of Purim. Oh, what did it say? Well... It said that if anyone tried to hurt a Jew, then that person would be killed. Oh, well, the book of Esther kind of seems like a fairy tale. Just, you mm -hmm. know, just a little bit. Because mm -hmm. it kind of ends with, and they all lived happily ever after. Yeah. So, well, why do you think that is? Because God takes care of his children. He does. I used to think reading the Bible was so boring. But I start to see that it's really interesting. You know, it really is interesting, Zeke. You just have to read it to know that. Mm -hmm. You know, but before we go, I think we should sing the books of the Old Testament all the way through. Let's do it. You know, we've learned them all now, so yeah. let's try to sing it all together. I'm going to take these down, Miss Heather, so mm -hmm. we can see Oh, yeah, we can point books. to them. We yeah. Can. Are you going to be the pointer? Uh, I can be the pointer. I'm sure. going to put my shaker down. Okay. I don't really need that. Need that. To. I'm going to make noise if I don't. Okay. That's right. Me too. All right. All right. You ready? Here we go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, 
Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations. Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, and Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, and there's more. Good job. Yeah. So we're come to the end of our lesson today. We have. And it's also the end of our study of Esther. It is. And remember, she is one of two books in the whole Bible mm -hmm. that has a female's name. That's right. So, you know, since we have to dismiss, I think it's only right that maybe Queen Esther does our prayer for us. It's a great idea. Is Queen Esther available? Oh, Hi, she's Queen. She's Hi, guys. So, you think you could say our closing prayer today? Sure. All right, let's all bow our heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for allowing us to learn more about you. Thank you for providing. Thank you for taking care of us. And thank you for reminding us that even when we're scared, you're always there with us. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye. 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 Wait, wait, come back, come back. Don't leave yet, don't no. leave yet. We have something exciting. Yeah, we forgot an announcement. We did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're coming up on the, the month of November. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone knows the month of November is all about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, eating, right? Yeah, well, not just eating. Right. It's a month to be thankful for mm -hmm. everything we have. So we have a really good idea and we want your help with it. Yes, we need you to help mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. So what are you thankful for? Do you know what you're thankful for? Oh, there are so many things I'm thankful mm -hmm. for. I couldn't list them all right now if I tried. That's right. But we want to put you on our Sunday school oh. next month. Now, you might want to just write it down and send it to us and we'll hold a picture up. Okay. Or maybe you'd like to send us a video and we'll play your video telling what you're thankful for. I love that. Mm -hmm. And you know, we could do it as individuals mm -hmm. or we could do it as families. Whole families. Uh -huh. We could do it with our kids or without because not everyone's comfortable with their kids on video out, you know, on the internet and that's totally okay. Yeah, we understand. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. So, send it to us at one never check one at gmail.com. And Miss Heather, is that spelt out O-N-E or the numbers one? It's the number one. So one never check one at gmail.com. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we can't look forward, or we look forward to your submissions and can't wait to see what you have for us. That's right. Thanks. See ya.